In the last two episodes, we've covered the settings and features of the audio mixer in OBS Studio. This lesson is dedicated to a powerful feature that drastically reduces the need for a physical mixer. I'm Dwayne Burke, here to help make OBS Studio less scary and more fun, and welcome back to my tutorial course. If at any point you find this video helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel with notifications on so you can find your way back for more information about OBS Studio and live streaming. The entire course is linked in the playlist in the video description, and if your question isn't answered in this video, please check there. Audio monitoring allows you to listen to the audio of a source, even if it is intended to only go to your stream. This can be used to somewhat replicate using a physical mixer to monitor your microphone through your headphones, audio from a capture card, or any other source. The first step in setting this up is to go into the advanced section of the audio tab in the settings menu. Choose your audio monitoring device and choose the device you want to hear the output on. Do not leave this on default select the specific headphone or speaker output you want to use. I would also suggest leaving disable Windows audio ducking enabled. Click apply, then click okay. If you do not click apply, the setting will not save. Then open the advanced audio properties menu. This can be accessed under edit in the taskbar or by clicking the gear icon next to any source in the mixer window. This is where you can enable which sources will be monitored to the selected output. By default, all sources are set to monitor off. The other available options are monitor only mute output and monitor and output. Monitor only mute output creates an audio loopback to your headphones so you can also hear an audio source without it echoing back to your stream. Typically, this is done with microphones or capture cards. If you receive an echo, the common cause is not an issue in OBS, but an issue in Windows. Right click on the speaker in your system tray, click Open Sounds Settings, then click Sound Control Panel on the right side of the window. Then. Go into the recording tab, click on each device, then click properties, then click the listen tab and make sure that listen to this device is not checked. Having this checked will already loop the sound through your computer speakers. If that doesn't work, I would suggest going to the OBS forums to look for a solution. Monitor and output allows you to both output a source to your stream or recording and loop the source back to your selected output. In most cases, this will cause duplicate audio for your stream. So that's something that you will have to keep in mind. This feature won't replace a physical mixer, but for a smaller streamer on a limited budget, it can drastically reduce the need for one. You can learn even more about using the OBS mixer to its full potential in this video. And if you wanna see lessons from this course in action, come give me a follow on Twitch and say hi in chat. Remember, streaming is supposed to be fun. I'll see you next time.